Hello people, Boxing Librarian here. Welcome back to this video that I mentioned this morning, okay, on my hangout where I said I would match Willie Pep against another great fighter who is pretty much never anywhere near rated anywhere near Willie Pep on most ATG countdowns. But, you know, I always back myself with evidence, so this is going to be the breakdown I do. Tony Canzaneri versus Willie Pep. Now, I'm not saying Canzaneri has great skill or whatever, eh, whatever, whatever. Okay, what I'm saying is that in a shorter career than Willie Pep, okay, Tony Canzaneri has more than matched, in many ways surpassed Willie Pep's CV. And my question in my hangout this morning was, well, why does Canzaneri not get rated as high as Willie Pep? Now... You know, the important thing on anything like this is to go through evidence, okay, is to back myself with evidence, um, and that is what this video is going to do. This is another of my career matchups. I am taking a break from career matchups after this. I'm going to upload some fighter videos and do some other videos and hangouts. Um, I've pumped out a large number of big videos this week, but I wanted to close out on this one, okay, to the question raised. Why would one fighter get rated top 10 and other fighters who've done as well, if not better in their career, you know, or have fought better opposition, don't get rated anywhere near? It's a big question. It affects many fighters. But like I said, I will use Willie Pep as an example and I'll match him tough. I'll match Willie Pep super tough. So we shall now go through the results of this matchup. So the first 20 fights, okay, Tony Canzaneri goes 19-0-1 unbeaten with 5 KOs. Willie Pep goes 20-0 with 10 KOs, meaning combined record for Canzaneri is, of course, 19 wins, no loss, one draw, 5 KOs. Willie Pep is 20-0 with 10 KOs. Now, exactly same stats at the bottom, okay, record champs, record all of famous, record rated. It's pretty much carbon copy of my other ones, except at the end, I haven't done quite as many stats. I've done a larger pile of stats on one slide, okay, to compare some final statistics after we've done with their career. But like I said, you know, Willie Pep is revered, okay, um, as a great fighter, and he's a great fighter. But is his CV great? to match someone like Tony Canzaneri. Um, and this is what we are going to look at in this video. You know, I could have chose a whole number of fighters to do this match upon. You know, there's many fighters across history who cannot match Willie Pep, but there are many who can, but yet they don't get rated anywhere near Willie Pep as an ATG generally. So let's go to the second 20 fights. Okay, Tony Canzaneri goes 15 wins, one loss, four draws with three KOs. Willie Pep goes another perfect 20-0 with seven KOs. Canzaneri's combined record is now 34 wins, one loss, five draws with eight KOs. Willie Pep's combined record is now 40-0 with 17 KOs. Now, major opponents, as we can see from first slide, Canzaneri has hit the ground running, okay? Um, he's fought Archie Bell, um, top 10 rated and won. He's lost to top 10 rated David Abad. He's gained a win over top 10 rated former champ Andre Rutis. Gained a win over top 10 ranked former champ Bushy Graham. Um, and fought a draw, okay? He's fought a draw against the blonde terror of Terra Horte, okay? Ring rated champion and Hall of Famer Charles Bud Taylor. So on this slide, Willie Pep is having lots of fights, but he's not fighting any top Top-rated opponents or former future champions are now Hall of Famers. Canzaneri in fights against champions is now two wins, no loss, one draw. Willie Pep is 0-0-0. Canzaneri has now fought one Hall of Famer. is no win, no loss, one draw. Willie Pep is 0-0-0. And Canzaneri in fighting top 10-rated opponents has already fought five, going three wins, one loss, one draw. Willie Pep is 0-0-0. So again, on the first slide, you know, nothing there. Willie Pep had the cleaner record. But on this slide even though Canzaneri was unbeaten as well. On this slide, you know, Canzaneri's only got one defeat uh, from 40 fights. He does have five draws, but already he's fighting better overall competition than Willie Pep. He's fighting top 10 rated fighters. He's already fought three former champions, Rutis, Graham and Taylor. Um, and he's now also fought a Hall of Famer, Charles Bud Taylor. Now, this matchup is fascinating, okay, because of when we get near the end, okay, you know, when Canzaneri's done and Willie Pep carries on, there's a startling, shocking fact, okay, about that, but we'll get that when we get to it, you'll see it before your eyes. So, you know, the first slide, nothing, nothing. Second slide definitely goes to Tony Canzaneri. You know, he's already fought a Hall of Famer. He's already fought a number of world champions. Already had five fights against top 10 rated fighters. And again, like many of the old fighters, these fights don't take place over a decade or 15 years. They take place over much shorter time periods. So already we can say Willie Pep is not doing too fantastic at the moment. He's got the cleaner record, but he's not fighting as good an opposition um, as Tony Canzaneri is fighting. So there's up to 40 fights, guys. Okay, now let us go um, on the fights up to fight number 60. 
So as we can see, um, the battle continues, okay? Tony Canzaneri in this 20 fights goes 16 wins, 2 losses, 2 draws with 6 KOs. Willie Pep goes another 20-0. He's now unbeaten in 60. He goes 20-0 with 5 KOs. Canzaneri's combined record is now 50 wins, 3 losses, 7 draws with 14 KOs. Willie Pep is on a perfect 60-0 with 22 KOs. Now, Willie Pep has a few major opponents on this slide, okay? He gets a win over ring-ranked former champion Hall of Famer Chalky Wright, and he also gets a win over top 10-ranked Ali Stoltz, okay? Meanwhile, Canzaneri, though, again, goes one better. He loses to top 10 ranked champion Hall of Famer, Charles Bud Taylor. He then gets a win, okay, over champion Hall of Famer, the great Scotch Wop Johnny Dundee. He then gets a win, okay, over, that should be rated, not champion, um, Ignacio Fernandez. He then gains a win, okay, over top 10 rated champion Hall of Famer, who is lost and drawn to Charles Bud Taylor. Okay, that's the second um, different Hall of Famer he's fought. No, the first Hall of Famer is false, sorry. Um, and he also gains a win over the second Hall of Famer, Benny Bass. Okay, so basically, you know, Benny Bass, top 10 rated champion Hall of Famer. So again, you you know, on here, Tony Canzaneri, you know, Willie Peppers fought Chalky Wright, he's fought Ali Stoltz. But basically, Canzaneri, even though he's not unbeaten, um, he's beaten Johnny Dundee, he's beaten Charles Bud Taylor, and he has beaten Benny Bass. Which means that in record against champions, Tony Canzaneri's already had eight fights against champions. Um, Willie Pep is now one and zero. Um, Tony Canzaneri has had five Hall of Fame fights to Willie Pep's one, going three wins, one loss, one draw. Willie Pep is one. 0 0 and Canzaneri has already had eight fights against top 10 rated fighters. Willie Pep is now 2 and 0. Ch Tony Canzaneri hasn't got warmed up yet. Okay, Tony Canzaneri hasn't got warmed up yet. Now, one of the slides coming up is a real battleground. You know, Willie Pep puts a real fight up, but you are probably going to be surprised to see the rest. Okay, um, I'll just say until we get near the end, of course. Um, but at the moment, you know, I have got to still give it to Tony Canzaneri. He does not have as clean a record, but his level of opposition has been far better. He's fought way more rated opponents. He's fought four times the number of rated opponents. He's fought five times the number of Hall of Famers and eight times the number of champions. Um, you know, now he won't maintain that massive gap all the way through. But what you will see all the way through, okay, is Tony Canzaneri fighting a consistent high level of opposition. And what you will find going through 20 fights at a time, so same for both fighters, um, what you'll find is Willie Pep struggles to really match up to Tony Canzaneri's incredible CV. And, you know, this is one of the reasons why I say Tony Canzaneri, you know, as well as being a three-way, five-time linear world champion, you know, he has one of the most astonishing CVs as well. You know, he's what I call an all-rounder. He's another Emery Armstrong, a man who's highly accomplished at title level, but also has an incredible CV where you find many greats uh, of either a weaker title reign and a great CV or a great title reign, but not a great CV. You know, Canzaneri is another of the all-rounders okay he's got a great title fight history a colorful title fight history he's five-time lineal champion at three weights with a great cv you know he really is um one of boxing's great resumes so i wanted to match willie pep because like I say canzaneri rarely ever even gets mentioned in the same breadth as willie pep um, and i wanted to do this video to match them so there's up to 60 fights okay pep with a cleaner record but nowhere near canzaneri's opponent level now look at this war, okay? This is a war zone. You know, Willie Pep suddenly turns alive and Canzaneri's still churning on. But can Pep keep this up? We will see on the next slide. Now, 20 fights, okay? Canzaneri goes 16 wins, 3 losses, 1 draw with 4 KOs. Willie Pep goes 19-1 and one with 3 KOs. Now, Canzaneri's combined record is now 66 wins, 6 losses, 8 draws with 18 KOs. Willie Pep is now a much cleaner record, 79-1 and one with 25 KOs. Now, when we go on to major opponents, okay, um, Tony Canzaneri lost to top 10 ranked Harry Blitman. He then lost to top 10 ranked former champion Andre Rutis. He then gained um, a draw over top 10 ranked Al Singer before gaining a win over top 10 rated Cecil Payne. He then gained a win over top 10 rated Sammy Dorfman. He then gained a win over former champion Andre Rutis. He then lost to the very underrated former top 10 ranked champion Hall of Famer Sammy Mandel. He then gained a win over top 10 ranked Eddie Mann. Gained a win over top 10 rated Johnny Farr and gained a win over top 10 rated Stanislaus Leosa. 
Now that is a hell of a list. Now let's go to Willie Pep. He lost his first fight after going 62-0. and He lost to ring-rated former champion Hall of Famer, The Clutch, Sammy Ango. He then gained a win over top 10 ranked former champion Sal Bartolo. Then gained a win over former champion Jackie Wilson before getting a second win over top 10 ranked former champion Sal Bartolo. He then gained a win over excellent lightweight of the period, okay? Top 10 rated Willie Joyce, who I've mentioned on a number of occasions. He then fought, okay, top 10 rated former champion Hall of Famer and won at greatest bantamweight fighters of all time, Manuel Ortiz, okay, who's got a fantastic um, title fight record himself. He then beat um, top 10 rated Lulu Constantino, okay, before getting a win over top 10 rated Charlie Cabby Lewis. He then gained another win over top 10 ranked champion Hall of Famer, Chalky Wright. So this fight list is really a battleground. You know, you can make arguments for either fighter, okay? Um, you know, um, Tony Cantoneri has lost to Sammy Mandel. He's only got a draw um, with Al Singer. He's lost to Andre Ruiz. He's gained a lot of top 10 wins. You could argue that Pep, aside from the Ango loss, he's better about Tolo twice. Jackie Wilson, Manuel Ortiz, Chalky Wright. You know, you could argue that slide for Pepe would be the first slide he's done well in and maybe one of the last, I'll say. Um, at the moment, um, Tony Cantoneri's record against champions, he's had 11 fights against champions, going seven wins, three loss, one draw. Willie Pep has had seven fights against champions by this time, going six and one. Now, Hall of Fame fights, um, Tony Cantoneri has had six fights against Hall of Famers. Willie Pep is now three wins and one loss. Um, and Tony Cantoneri has now fought 17 top 10 rated fighters, going 10 wins, five losses, two draws. Willie Pep is 9 and 1. Now, some people could say, well, boxing librarian, wow, you know, Tony Canzanetti were winning this matchup. Look how Willie Pep fought back. Look at his record against Champs Hall of Famers, you know, um, and top 10 rated fighters start shooting up, you know. But the big question, you know, on any CV is, you know, on a spurt like this is, you know, there's good wins in there. You know, Jackie Wilson, Bartolo twice, Joyce, Ortiz, you know, Chalky Wright, the loss to Ango. That is a very good run of 20 fights from Willie Pep. But, you know, as Tony Canzanari has shown, he's been developing his run over the last few slides. His, his runs of big fights on the last two slides prior to this has been growing. He's been fighting more and more top-rated fighters, hitting this stage here, okay, where there's a full 10 fights on there against top 10 rated champions or Hall of Famers. You know, Willie Pep comes in at nine, but my question is, can Willie Pep maintain this pace on slides after this? So at the moment, you know, even if that slide could be edged to Willie Pep based on the names he beat, having a bit of a cleaner record. You know, Canzanari to me is still winning this match up hands down. You know, Willie Pep aside from this slide so far doesn't have many names. Canzanari's already been growing a number. And, you know, when we get to the stats at the end on the last slide, you will see what I mean. OK, when we look at fights against champions and all of famous fights against rated opponents, all that stuff, you'll see Tony Canzanari's stats, you know, many of which dwarf Willie Pep, except for under certain categories. But at the moment, that is a great effort by Willie Pep. That is a good run of fights in only 20 fights. He's only lost one of them. Canzanari lost three. You know, you could argue that Willie Pep has beaten better overall on that slide, but it's the first slide Willie Pep's won. And I will just say, it may be one of the last, okay? Tony Canzanari in this 20 fight scores 17 wins and 3 losses with 5 KOs. Pep again goes unbeaten after suffering his first career defeat to the clutch. Goes 19-0 and won with 4 KOs. Now, Tony Canzanari's combined record after 100 fights is now 83 wins, 9 losses, 8 draws with 23 KOs. While Willie Pep's is a much cleaner looking 98 wins, 1 loss, 1 draw with 29 KOs. But when we go to major opponents, it's another Canzanari assault, okay? The quality of his opposition on this slide is very, very good again. Okay, um, and he has maintained 10 fights on this slide, whereas Pep from the last slide has dropped from nine major opponents to four. Okay, Tony Canzanari lost to top 10 ranked champion Hall of Famer Jack Higberg. He gained a win over top 10 ranked Stanislaus Leosa. He gained a win over top 10 ranked Johnny Farr. He gained a win over top 10 ranked Joe Glick. Okay, he gained a win over top 10 ranked Tommy Grogan. He gained a win over top 10 ranked champion Hall of Famer Benny Bass. He lost, okay, to ring rated and Hall of Famer Billy Petrol. He gained a win over former champion Al Singer, he lost to former champion Sammy Fuller and he gained a second win, okay uh, sorry, a first win, confused um, of a top 10 rated champion Hall of Famer Jack Kidberg, Jack Kidberg who was a great fighter himself Willie Pep on his side, he's bet Charlie Cabby Lewis top 10 ranked again, he's also got a win over Chalky Wright, top 10 ranked champion Hall of Famer, he's also got a win over top 10 ranked former champ Phil Terranova and gained another win over former champion Jackie Wilson so basically, when we look at the effects of this slide, you know, 
And none of those names are bigger than um, Jack Kidberg. He's fought Jack Kidberg twice. He's lost to Billy Patrol. You know, even in top 10 rated fighters, you know, Tony Cantoneri is maintaining form. And this is the kind of form that Pep pretty much maintains going forward. Cantoneri's now had 16 fights against champions to Pep's 10. Cantoneri goes 10 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw. Uh, Willie Pep is now on 9 wins and 1 loss. And all of fame fights, Tony Cantoneri is double figures at 10, going 5 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw. Willie Pep is now 4 and 1. Okay, and really ring-rated opponents for, okay, Cantonet is tearing off. You know, he's now had 25 fights against top 10 ring-rated fighters to Willie Pep's 13, so almost double. Canzaneri does not have as clean a looking record. 16 wins, 7 losses, 2 draws. Willie Pep is 12 and 1. But this is another slide, you know, with wins over Jackie Kidd, Berg and Benny Bass. It's another slide where it's very hard. You know, even just looking at the Hall of Famers, the thought, okay, you know, um, to me, Chalky Wright is no better than Benny Bass. Certainly no better than Jackie Kidd, Berg. And when you look at the champions, um, the thought, you know, he's fought um, Benny Bass and beating him, he's beating Al Singer, he's beating Jackie Kidd, Berg. You know, Willie Peppers being Chalky Wright, Terran over and Jackie Wilson. But, you know, top 10 rated opponents, you know, um, basically Willie Peppers fought, fought three top 10 rated opponents on here. Kanzaneri has fought eight. So basically, you know, this, this slide is another um, in terms of activity and big fights against top rated fighters from their time. Um, is certainly another big pile for Tony Kanzaneri. Now, on the last slide, as I said, you know, Willie Pep put in a good run. The few slides before that, he didn't quite match up to the work rate what Kanzaneri was setting off. And like I said, Kanzaneri maintains it, okay? He drives forward on upcoming slides, pretty much maintaining a very good level of activity. You know, Willie Pep struggles to match Kanzaneri in many ways so there's the matchup to 100 fights guys okay let us now go forward okay to fight 120 so now look at this so to fight 120 tony canzaneri okay has 20 fights he goes 15 wins and five losses with four kills willie pep goes back to 20 and oh but gets more knockouts this time at 12 Kanzaneri's combined record is now 98 wins, 14 losses, 8 draws, with 27 KOs. Willie Pepsi is a far better looking 118 wins, 1 loss, 1 draw, with 41 KOs. Now, look at the major names. I mean, Willie Pep fought Sal Bartolo, former champion, and beat him. He beat Jackie Graves, okay, um, top 10 rated. Um, he then also beat um, former champion Hall of Famer Chalky Wright, who was not top 10 rated at this moment. Um, and then he gained a win over top 10 rated Humberto Sierra. Now, on Canzaneri's side, he gains a second win over top 10 rated champion Hall of Famer Jack Kidberg. He then gains a win over the Cuban Bonbon, you know, great fighter, top 10 rated um, Hall of Famer, former champ. Kid Chocolate. Those two wins to me have already won the slide for Tony Canzaneri. But he does fight and lose to top 10 ranked former champion Johnny Jaddick. He also gains a win over top 10 rated Lou Massey before fighting Johnny Jaddick a second time top 10 rated and a champion and losing. He then gains a win okay, in a revenge fight over Hall of Famer Billy Petrol, um, an excellent fighter himself, and then loses to top 10 rated Hall of Famer fantastic fighter, great fighter Wesley Ramey. He then comes back and fights former light welter champion uh, um, battling short and gains a win. He then loses twice, okay, to Barney Ross, top 10 rated champion and all of fame. Tony Canzanetti loses twice to Barney Ross, who were a three weight champion and one of the best fighters at 30s. Um, he then gains a win over top 10 rated and former champion Frankie Click before gaining his second win, okay, over top 10 rated champion all of fame. Kid Chocolate. So when we look at the stats, okay, at the bottom, Tony Canzanero is now piling up stats. You know, he has now had 31 fights against champions to Willie Pep's 12. He's gone 21 wins, 9 losses, 1 draw against Pep's 11 and 1. Tony Canzanero has now had 17 fights against all of fame fighters to Willie Pep's 6, going 9 wins, 7 losses, 1 draw. Willie Pep is now 5 wins and 1 loss. And fighting ring-rated opponents, okay, Tony Canzanero has now fought 33 top 10 ring rated opponents Willie Peppers fought 15 okay going 4 on 1 so Tony Cantoneri has fought more than double the number of top 10 ring rated opponents in 120 fights that um, Willie Pep has he's also fought nearly 3 times the number of Hall of Famers um, and has fought not far off 
three times the number of fights against champions in his career. So even though Pep's record looks cleaner due to the lower level of opposition he's fought, in my opinion, um, you know, he's fought some great opposition, but matching Canzanieri's opposition is not an easy job. He fought great fighters across multiple weights throughout his whole career. Matching up to that is um, difficult. Even ignoring the defeats, okay, Canzanieri's still got 10 more wins against champions, four more wins against Hall of Famers, and seven more wins against top 10 rated ring fighters. Okay, but there is up to fights 120. So, you know, some people could argue Pep's record is cleaner. I partially argue that's due to the, you know, lowered level of opposition that he's fought in comparison to Canzanieri, who's fought Kid Chocolate, Jackie Berg, Barney Ross, Wesley Ray. He's fought so many great fighters. But now we will go on, okay, to the next 20 fights and look at fights covering up to fight 140. And here we are, and as you can see, Canzanieri does not let up. He's like, his CV is like a pit bull CV. It comes and keeps coming and keeps coming like Archie Mars. Tony Canzanieri from 20 fights went 18 wins, 2 losses, 4 KOs. Willie Pep went 19 and 1 with 4 KOs, meaning Canzanieri's record is now 116 wins, 16 losses, 8 draws with 31 KOs. Willie Pep now has a record of 137 wins, 2 losses, 1 draw with 45 KOs. Now look at the pile, okay, of, of fighters that Canzanieri's fought, okay? He's fought 11, is it 11 um, fighters, okay? Cleto Locatelli, top 10 rated, um, Canzanieri beat him. He then beat top 10 rated champion Hall of Famer Baby Arismendi before beating top 10 rated champion Frankie Click. He then lost, okay, to top 10 rated Harry Dublinski, but near mine came back and beat Harry Dublinski, who was top 10 rated. He then gained a win over top 10 fighter Leo Rodak before gaining a great win, okay, over top 10 rated champion Hall of Famer the Hermica Hurricane Lou Ambers. He then gained another win over top 10 rated champion Frankie Click, gained a third win over top 10 rated champion Frankie Click, then gained a win over top 10 rated Joe Gnulli, um, and then gained a top win over top 10 rated Al Roth. You know, when we look at Willie Pep on his side, his, his side cannot match up, you know, even though I think um, Willie Pep has, you know, a joint greatest win with Ambers with Sadler. He beat um, top 10 rated former champ Paddy DeMarco. He then fought Sandy Sadler in the first fight, top 10 rated champ and all of famer. Got beat up. Uh, he lost that fight, but then he came back and produced that great display, okay, to completely outfox Sadler in the rematch. And by the time Sadler were coming back into it, the fight was over. Willie Pep had probably, well, I think his greatest win over top 10 rated champion Hall of Famer, Sandy Sadler. Only one win from four fights they had. So, fights against champions. Canzanero is now at 36. To Willie Pep's 15, going 26 wins, 9 losses, 1 draw. Willie Pep is now 13 and 2. Canzanieri has now had 19 fights against all of famous to Willie Pep's 8. Canzanieri is now 11 wins, 7 losses, 1 draw. Willie Pep is 6 and 2. And rated opponents, okay, Canzanieri has already fought a massive 44 fights against top 10 ring rated opponents. Willie Pep is on 18, okay. So in 140 fights, Canzanieri has fought 100. He's fought 44 fights against top 10 ring rated fighters. That's not even counting other fights where he fought all the famous or champions when they weren't ring rated. Willie Pep is on 18 from 140, so less than half, well less than half the number of top 10 rated fighters he's fought as to what Tony Canzanieri fought. And, you know, there were a lot of fighters there at that time. You know, I, I don't understand it. You know, there were a lot of fighters rated by ring top 10 who Willie Pep didn't fight. There's some fighters rated by ring top 10 that Canzanieri didn't fight. But what we can say about Canzanieri, aside from the one slide that was an even battleground, you know, Canzanieri has been doing far more work on every slide virtually, okay? Willie Pep has not had a slide where he's had 10, Canzanieri's had 3 or 4. It's always Canzanieri with a big pile, Willie Pep always with a small pile, bar the first slide where they'd fought no major opposition and the slide where Willie Pep kind of matched him on that big list, okay? But after 140 fights, I'm giving this to Tony Canzanieri um, at the moment. So let's go on to fights leading up to fight 160. Here we are, guys. Next 20 fights. Tony Canzanieri fights 20 fights, goes 16 wins, 4 losses with 8 KOs. Willie Pep goes 19 wins, 1 loss with 5 KOs. Now, interestingly, Canzanieri's combined record is now 132 wins, 20 losses, 8 draws with 39 KOs. Willie Pep is now on 156 wins, 
three losses, one draw with 50 KOs. Now, Tony Cantoneri gains a win over former champion Johnny Jaddick. He then gains a great win, okay, over top 10 rated former champion Hall of Famer, the great CV man Jimmy McLaren, okay, the great Irish fighter. He then loses, okay, in a rematch of a fighter he bet to top 10 rated champion Hall of Famer, the Hermica Hurricane, Lou Ambers. So Cantoneri, you know, um, beat Lou Ambers first, came back and lost to Lou Ambers, a bit like Armstrong did. Um, you know, he then fought and lost to a fighter he beat, the great Jimmy McLaren, in top 10 rated champion Hall of Famer and lost a trilogy fight to Lou Ambers, who was top 10 rated champ and Hall of Fame. But that opposition on that slide is stupid. You know, two losses to Ambers, a win and loss to McLean, and a win over Jodic. You know, Willie Pett, meanwhile, gets a win over former champion Harold Dade. He then gains a win over top 10 rated Charlie Riley before getting a win over top 10 rated Ray Famechon. Okay, he then fights Sandy Sadler, the latest time, who's top 10 rated champ and Hall of Famer, and Willie Pett loses um, to Sandy Sadler. So now in fights against champions, Tony Canzaneri has now had 41 fights against champions. To Willie Pep's 17, going 28 wins, 12 losses, 1 draw. Willie Pep is now 14 and 3 from his 17 fights against champions. Hall of Fame fights, Kanzaneri is now at 23 to Willie Pep's 9. Willie Pep is 6 and 3 against Hall of Famers, Kanzaneri is 12, 10 and 1. And when we look at rated fighters, I mean, you know, Tony Kanzaneri has now fought 48 fights against top 10 rated fighters. Way more than double what Willie Pepper's done. He's 18 and 3 from his 21 fights against top 10 rated fighters. Now, this is a slide, okay? Now, I personally don't put any of those wins on Willie Pep's side over the win over Jimmy McLaren. And the win over Johnny Jaddick was a comparable win to beating Harold Dade, Ray Famechon, etc. To me, kanzaneri has got the best win. He's got one less win, 2 to 3. You know, and Pep has the cleaner record. So, pick of this what you will. To me, the best win on there is Jimmy McLaren. <coughs> I always cough halfway through a video, right, roughly between 25 and 30 minutes. I think it's because I'm talking so fast and talking so much, it dries my throat out by then. Um, it's after like 25, 30 minutes of solid talking that my throat dries out. <laughs> I seem to cough at the same time on every video. Little drink to moisture mute well. Okay. So already, you know, Willie Pepper staged a bit of a fight back on this slide, but this is one of few slides he has. Let us go on to the next slide. Now, this is it for Tony Canzaneri. His incredible career, he crammed in, okay, to 175 fights. He ends with nine wins, four losses, two draws, with one KO, bringing his combined record to 141 wins, 24 losses, 10 draws, with 44 KOs. Willie Pep, meanwhile, in this 20 fights, goes 18 wins and two losses with three KOs, taking his combined record after 180 fights to 174 wins, five losses, one draw, with 53 KOs. Now, Willie Pep, okay, now Canzaneri's finished. Willie Pep carries on. But there's a startling, startling shocking fact about this. Now, his major opponents on here, Sandy Sadler, top 10 rated champion Hall of Famer, Willie Pep loses. He then loses to top 10 rated former champion Tommy Collins, who four months earlier, Sandy Sadler had destroyed. But in fights against champions, Willie Pep now advances to 14 wins and 5 losses, okay, from 19 fights against champions. Um, Canzaneri is now on, of course, 41 and will move no further. Canzaneri has 23 fights against all of famous. Um, Willie Pep has now had 10, going 6 wins and 4 loss to Canzaneri's 12 wins, 10 losses, 1 draw. And fights against top 10 rated opponents, Canzaneri has still more than doubled Willie Pep's 23 now. Fights against top 10 rated fighters. Um, basically, Willie Pep is now 18 and 5. Canzaneri's 32. Two wins, 14 losses and two draws. So, you know, Willie Pep, even though Canzaneri is now finished, he's had his last fights, he's fought no major opponents. Sandy Sadler, you have to say, has fought better overall opposition, because he's got a cleaner record. B, that he has fought Tommy Collins and Sandy Sadler. He has lost them both, OK? So, the slide that Canzaneri's done, Willie Pep does not record one win over a fighter under this criteria um, that I use in these videos. And it's just interesting, you know, there were other fighters, OK, that Pep and Canzaneri fought, who they did fight when they were top 10 rated, you know, like Johnny Farr, etc., um, who they also fought when they weren't. I could have added those, but I stuck more to my rigid plan for this one. Okay, guys, let's go to next 20 fights. Let's see Pep dominate. That's right, he doesn't. Uh, Canzaneri's done, 0-0. Zero, zero. 
Willie Pep has another 20 fights going, 18 wins, 2 losses with 4 KOs. Willie Pep's combined record is now 192 wins, 7 losses, 1 draw with 57 KOs. Now, Canzanieri's career is long done. Willie Pep on the last slide fought 2 um, opponents un under my criteria, lost to them both. And in this 20 fights, he does not fight one former champion, Hall of Famer or top 10 ring rated opponent from those 20 fights. So even though Canzanieri's record is now finished, you know, Canzanieri was blitzing Pep in most of the slides. Willie Pep is not clawing anything back because he's not fighting top rated opponents. OK, so on the last two slides, he's fought two opponents on the last slide, lost them both, fought none on this, OK, under my criteria. So the slide is 0-0. Zero, zero. You only have to say Pep wins because he's been active, but he hasn't fought any legitimate competition under my criteria. Let's go to the next one, see if it changes. And no, unfortunately, it doesn't, OK? After Canzanieri retired, Willie Pep seemed to stop fighting in terms of his fight number, top opposition. Uh, Canzanieri, of course, is 0, 0, 0. Willie Pep goes 19 wins, 1 loss with 4 KOs, taking his combined record now to 211 wins, 8 losses, 1 draw with 61 KOs. And it is astonishing, OK, that on three slides now, 60 fights, OK? In 60 fights, Willie Pep has only fought two, either rated... Former champion or Hall of Fame fighters lost them both in 60 fights. All these other fights are against men who are not top 10 ring rated, never held a title and are not in the Hall of Fame. So like say, even though Kanzanieri um, finished on 175 fights, Willie Pep is now on 220 and has not really done anything to claw anything back against Kanzanieri. Now let's look at the next slide to see if Pep can break this duck for the last two slides. Can he? Can he? Yes, he can, but it's the same as the one from two before this. Willie Pep goes 18 and 3. Okay, I added the final fight and I wasn't going to do a slide for one fight. But Pep goes 18 and 3 with four KOs, taking his total record to 229 wins, 11 losses, one draw, 65 KOs. Kanzanieri ends on 141, 24 and 10 with 44 KOs. Now, in the last 81 fights, 81 fights. OK, since Canzanieri were done, so you could call it 86 fights, but since Canzanieri was done from fight 180, carrying on, Willie Pep has only fought three opponents in 81 fights who were top 10 rated champions or Hall of Famers. And like Hogan Kibassi, who's top 10 rated champion on here, he lost. So from this 20, he's only fought one opponent and lost. The last slide, no opponents. The slide before that, no opponents. The slide before that, Two opponents and lost. So from his last 80 fights, he's fought three opponents under my criteria. Only three from 80 fights and he's lost them all. You know, Kanzanieri's career was done at 175, but Willie Pep has only fought three opponents in 86 fights, okay? Since Kanzanieri finished and he's lost them all, he has not beat one legitimate opponent um, under my criteria since Kanzanieri was done. And Kanzanieri would dominate in the earlier slides. So, let us have a look at this then, guys, okay? The final breakdown. You know, ultimately, let's look at some stats, okay? Before I have a little natter. Tony Canzanieri fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. Now, this is where it will tell the picture. Fights against fighters who are top 10 rated, champs, or Hall of Famers. Willie Pep is 29. Canzanieri is 58. He fought double the number of fights in well less fights, okay? Pep had 41. 67 less fights, Canzanieri had. He has fought double the number of fights against rated fighters, champs, or Hall of Famers. Now, fights against champs and Hall of Famers only, not counting the ring rated fighters. Okay, Canzanieri has 38 fights against champs or Hall of Famers. Willie Pep has 20. Okay, nearly half Canzanieri's total in six, well over, you know, 60 fights less. Top 10 rated fighters fought. Okay, fights against top 10 rated fighters. Tony Canzanieri has an astonishing 48 fights against top 10 ring rated fighters. Willie Pep is half that at 24. So the top three slides tell you that Tony Canzanieri fought way more combined fights, okay, against rated fighters, champs, all of famous. On the champs and all of famous, Canzanieri fought way more fights against many world titles or are now in the Hall of Fame. And he also doubled fighting way more fights against top 10 rated fighters. Those three slides, those three stats are demolition stats for Canzanieri. Now, the unbeaten run, the win, run, the KO run. Let's look at those. 
Tony Cantoneri's biggest uh, unbeaten run was 31 fights. Willie Pep trumps that at 73 following his um, defeat to Sammy Ango. He went undefeated in 73 fights, okay? His longest win run for Tony Cantoneri is 19. Willie Pep's longest win run, um, not counting draws, is the 62 fights before he lost to the clutch. One of my favourite nicknames, Sammy Angot. So Willie Pep dominates the unbeaten run and win run, but I think that is more to do with his opposition, okay? When he fought his better opposition later on, you know, he actually picked up a number of defeats. Now, KO run, Tony Cantoneri's longest KO run is four. Willie Pep's is six. Neither were knockout punches, so Willie Pep edges that. But look at these stats now. Rounds against champions. Tony Cantoneri fought three 172 rounds against champions to Willie Pep's 198. Tony Cantoneri fought 260 rounds against Hall of Fame opposition compared to Willie Pep's 99. And Tony Cantoneri fought 259 title fight rounds compared to Willie Pep's 157. And with neither of them being big punches, it shows that Cantoneri is way more experienced in having way more title fights um, and um, title fight rounds than Willie Pep. So aside from the unbeaten run, the win run, the KO run, you know, which are stats based also, which can be factored by opposition. When we actually go on the more top opposition, ring rated fights, champs, all of famous, Canzanieri wins. Fights against champs and all of famous, Canzanieri wins. Fights against top 10 rated fighters, Canzanieri wins. Rounds against champions, Canzanieri wins. Rounds against all of famous, Canzanieri wins. Rounds in title fights, Canzanieri wins. So really, through this through this matchup we've seen, Willie Peck going all those slides, you know, from fight 175 to 241, and in all those fights he only fought three rated fighters, champs or all of famers, lost all three of them, okay, gained no comeback on Canzanieri. The only main fight he put up against Canzanieri was the big slide where he won. There were another one or two slides that could have been called here or that way, but Canzanieri won the rest. He was just fighting way better competition. And even though Canzanieri got more defeats, he got more defeats because he was fighting way better opposition. You know, in Jackie Kid Berg and McLaren and Ambers and Kid Chocolate. And, you know, you can go on and on and on and on and on, you know, with the fighters that Tony Canzanieri fought. You know, Tony Canzanieri also, you know, in Champions and Hall of Famers. I mean, really, Tony Canzanieri also kind of licks that in a way, you know, he's, he's fought way more champions, he's fought way more, he's, fought, he's had way more fights against champions, he's had way more fights against Hall of Famers, he's had way more fights against um, ring-rated fighters, he's beaten more Hall of Famers than Willie Pep by far, he's beaten more champions than Willie Pep by far. So, you know, my question and the point of this video is, Willie Pep often gets top 10 rated and top 5 rated, my question is, well, Based on this video and the stats you've seen, aside from Pep having a cleaner record and longer unbeaten runs, you know, Canzanieri fought way better competition in my mind. He has way better opponents gathered over his career. So why do people who rate Willie Pep top 10 or top 5, why don't they often rate Canzanieri in top 20 or 30? Shouldn't they rate Canzanieri above Willie Pep? Or do they rate it on skill? If they rate it on skill, they have an argument. If they rate it on CV, it's a very hard argument for Willie Pep to win. I'm the Boxing Librarian. I'm out for now, guys.